take our first question. Okay, actually I have uh, something very interesting here from Thor. Hi Thor. Hey, Thor. Great show you have there, thank you. Um, what we do is using a program called AWCast, A-W-Cast, and with this mm. program running on one PC and using Skype on a second PC, we can have people calling us up on Skype. The AWCast then picks up the sound from Skype and sends it live on the web. Our listeners then use our AWCast website link to listen in to our live radio show. It's a bit complicated to have two PCs to run the show, so what I'm wondering is if your program works the same way. Can we be three to four announcers talking at the same time and having listeners listening to our show live using your software. Best regards, mm. Thor. Okay, cool. Uh, by our software, I guess you mean like the software that we use here? I'm just checking out this Awcast, awcast.com, uh, just like a broadcasting service on the web. Very cool. Um, so I, I think what you're talking about is kind of like full duplexing and being able to record from the mixer channel. And it depends on what, uh, what operating system you're running. I didn't hear what operating system you were running there. If you're on Linux, uh, sometimes there can be configuration um, confusion, I guess because there's so many different sound servers uh, to choose from, and out of the box maybe wouldn't be the best way to go. Uh, if you're using Windows, it can be quite simple because you're using the drivers that, uh, that are built for your sound card just like that, and, uh, and you can usually select master mix. So whatever you hear out of your speakers becomes whatever your record, your record device is, which would be what's being sent to AUCAST. In my case, though, I should let you know that we're not software driven, so I can't be much help with regards to what we do, because <clears throat> we do use multiple systems. It actually takes three systems to run the show, each, each uh, like just from this end, just where we're sitting, uh, and then the servers in the back as well. So. Uh, so what happens here is we've got, when we have a Skype interview, we'll actually have this, the Skype computer, basically, which is the demo system. That's the system that I use when I, when I demonstrate what's on the screen. It also doubles as our Skype system. So that has an audio out that goes to our TAPCO mixing console, which is an FX uh, 2200. Uh, that's what they call it, Mix 2220. Uh, there you go, Mix 220. I will link to it because I can't say it. I'll link to it in the show notes for episode 102. Uh, so everything goes through that mixing console, and I wish you could see it. If you're on Backstage Pass, you absolutely can. We've got a mixing console here. We've got an Ultramizer Pro and audio processors and everything. So everything is actually running through cables before it ever gets to the broadcast computer. So the way we do it is probably a lot different than what you're looking at doing if you're trying to do it from one single PC. Uh, the issue that you're going to run into with doing it from a single PC, and, and one of the big reasons that we have always steered away from that, uh, other than our really early episodes, is because you're going to have trouble keeping the levels level. Uh, you're going to have trouble with, you know, Joe Blow calls in and their voice is super, super loud, and sometimes that happens. Mm -hmm. You saw that a couple times on episode 100, but the compressor that's attached to the board makes sure that it doesn't clip. It doesn't uh, push beyond the threshold that we set. Uh, so even if somebody is a little bit louder, it's not going to clip people's speakers and, and make everybody who's watching the show go, whoa, mm -hmm. you know, something like that. So, so that's one of the things that you might run into if you're doing that kind of mixing on a single PC is that you're not going to be able to keep those levels adjusted very well. And you, if you do try, you're going to have to do it on a software mixer uh, on your screen. It's not quite as nice as being able to reach over here and just adjust a slider. So a couple of things for you to keep in mind, but it can be done. I think, uh, honestly speaking, it's probably easier to do from Windows because of the fact that out of the box with your sound card, you're going to have full duplexing. You're going to have the ability to, uh, most likely, if you've got a half-decent audio card, uh, you're going to be able to capture from the mix. So all channels mixed down would become your capture device. Uh, but in Linux, it can absolutely be done as well. It's just, uh, it can be a little more complicated because maybe uh, Pulse Audio wouldn't be the, the right choice for you. Maybe you'd want to look at stuff like Jack, uh, so or Alsa even. So good luck. Hope that it works. But yeah, I definitely am an advocate for using external devices with two computers as, as a minimum, as a base. 